Manufacturing targets for many electric vehicles have come under revision due to supply chain difficulties. However, despite the ensuing chip and semiconductor shortages, Aptera is pushing forth with plans to enter production and begin deliveries of its flagship SEV this year 2022. How feasible can such a lofty ambition be? What strategies have been put in place to ensure Aptera doesn't burn out as it did over a decade ago? Stay tuned to find out. Remember to like the video if you're enjoying our content. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications in order to stay connected. Did you know electric vehicles require two to three times the number of semiconductors and nearly four times the amount of copper as internal combustion engine vehicles? It turns out they also use more than 74% of the world's lithium. The average electric car has around 2,000 chips, which is roughly double the number used in combustion engine vehicles. Semiconductors are used in a variety of vehicle components, including cameras, touchscreens, infotainment, linked features, safety features, and, in the case of electric vehicles, batteries. That said, Aptera hasn't altogether escaped getting hit by the supply chain hurdles that have been prevalent over the last few years. However, the automaker has taken some key steps and put in place some key strategies to ensure that they meet its production timelines of deliveries from this year, 2022. Let's go over some of them. Number 1. Attention to critical lead times. When it comes to lead times, it's critical to have accurate estimations for how long it will take the supplier to produce the essential parts, as this might cause significant delays to predicted timetables. There is no such thing as a universal lead time for all car parts. Certain parts that are easier to manufacture will have a shorter lead time, but some more custom parts would have a longer lead time. As a result, it is vital to determine which components are more critical in terms of lead time and must be prioritized to guarantee that the deadline is reached all the way. Aptera has got a really good idea of which components and which suppliers will be the critical ones and has put in the necessary attention and priority to minimize delays. Number 2. Strategic Domestic Supply Chains Aptera's supply chain is impressively domestic as it is foreign. Domestic sources offer lesser logistical risk, improved communication, and fewer obstacles to overcome. There are also advantages such as reduced lead times, increased consumer confidence, and the opportunity of developing stronger relationships with domestic supply chains rather than overseas ones. A good example of a domestic supplier Aptera has gone into partnership with is EVE Energy. In June 2022, Aptera announced a supply agreement with EVE Energy Company Limited to utilize its San Diego produced 21700 NMC 811 cylindrical cells in its SUV. According to Aptera, the NMC 811 cell is one of the lightest and most energy-dense available, and it is perfect for the lightweight, ultra-efficient design of the upcoming production SUV. We did a video a while ago in which we reviewed the NMC 811 cells and covered their battery chemistry, as well as why their pros and cons. We went into great depth in the review, so be sure to check out that video, link in the description, and at the end of this video. And number three, diversified international supply chain. Even if having domestic suppliers increases the possibility of Aptera completing its manufacturing timeline, having multinational supply chains has some significant advantages. For one thing, they gain access to manufacturers and their networks, allowing them to use another country's products to better their own. There is also a desire to take advantage of new technologies and capabilities. It is true that some automakers may believe that domestic suppliers lack the essential technology or are not making the necessary expenditures to remain competitive and hence seek out international supply chains for the products they require. This was the case with Aptera joining forces with Yu Lafay. Still, in the month of June 2022, Aptera announced a deal worth several hundred million euros to source distributed drive platform technologies from Yu Lafay. The agreement was intended to provide Aptera with the impetus it needed to achieve series production in record time. 
Eula Fay, based in Ljubljana, Slovenia, is a technical pioneer in in-wheel powertrains and Aptera's electric propulsion system vendor of record. The agreement includes a clear plan for scaling manufacturing in Slovenia and then expanding production to the United States. Why Eula Fay, you may wonder? They are, after all, the only company in the world with the technology app Terra required, leaving the manufacturer with little choice but to collaborate with you, Lafay. App Terra Motors also announced a supply agreement and collaborative relationship with industry leader Izaki on the last day of May 2022, naming them as an engineering service supplier as well as a line prototype and production part supplier. Yazaki would offer specified production parts for Aptera's LV and HVEE electrical harness, comprising wires, connectivity, charging ports, and other utilities under this arrangement. Aptera also announced an agreement with Cherry Automotive, a Chinese carmaker. However, the specifics of this arrangement are still being kept under wraps, and little is known about it. So, while Aptera prefers to work with local partners, they are also open to collaborating with other partners to ensure that their flagship SEV is delivered and on time too. Finally, we're ushering in a new era of automotive assembly, announcing a supply agreement with Red Viking for AGVs, which stands for Automated Guided Vehicles, for Aptera's final vehicle assembly. This supply agreement represents significant forward momentum for our company as we rapidly scale to the final production stage. We are reinventing transportation, going where no other automaker has gone before. Likewise, Red Viking is innovating beyond the status quo. They're leading in manufacturing 4.0. We're proud to partner with a like-minded company as we push past what others deem impossible. Summarily, Aptera has got a lot of things figured out already, and aside from some funding and some adjustments to be made on the Gamma, we can expect the Delta to enter production well within the anticipated timelines. But what do you think? Can Aptera succeed to enter production before this year 2022 runs out? We'd love to hear from you down in the comments section. And that's where we wrap things up for today. Our team appreciates you sticking around till this point. Please give us a thumbs up and kindly subscribe to help the channel grow and cover more breakthroughs. Don't forget to turn on the bell notification feature to stay updated. Do have a splendid day and see you in the next video.